I'm Nancy Strickland and this video will show you how to use a new feature in Windows 7, how to set up a service so that its start is triggered by an event. There's no source code for this demo because it's all command line. Now most services either start automatically when the operating system comes up, like this one here, or they're manually started by a user or an administrator. In Windows 7, there's a new option, Trigger Start Services, and those start when a particular event triggers them. The idea is to conserve energy and to improve performance by running services only when they're actually needed. Windows 7 itself has some Trigger Start Services, like, for example, Windows Time Service, which synchronizes the time on your machine with other servers. It only starts when the PC joins a domain, and it stops when it leaves. Now, I've got a service here this Windows Service One EXE. It's already been written and what it does is writes to a file named logging.log right on the desktop once every second indefinitely. Now I'm going to set it up so that it only runs when the PC is connected to a network. So it'll start when the network connect event happens and it'll end when the network connection closes. The log file is going to be put right on the desktop so we can all see it. And the executable here for the service, notice that I put it right at the root just so it's easy to find. Now, before I start, I want to disconnect from the network. And now I'm going to manipulate this service using a command prompt. So I'm going to right click on it and select Run as Administrator. You wouldn't have to do this manually, of course, from a command prompt. You'd probably use something like a PowerShell script. To manipulate the service, I'm going to use the SC utility. First, I'll create a service from the executable. So if the command is SC create, and then a name, whoops, a name of my choice for the service. I'm going to call it my service. And then a path to the binary. And notice that there has to be a space here after the equals. And I put it right at the root, and then here's the name of it. and it tells me that the service was created successfully. And now I'll set up the trigger that says this service should start when the PC connects to a network. And I'll also say stop when the network goes when the machine goes off the network. Again, we get our success confirmation. Now I'm going to query the service, get its status. The command is SC query, and then the name that I gave that service. And it shows me that right now its state is stopped. If I go over here to my control panel, though, you can see that right now I don't see that service. Well, that's because I need to refresh it, but it wasn't the service wasn't there a moment ago. But if I refresh my view here, there's my service, manual and not started. Now I'm going to connect to the network and that event should start the service running and we should see the log file pop up. You now see that my services, oh I need to refresh again, sorry. And now you can see that my service has started and there's my logging log which just writes the word logging every second. If I look at it again, you can see the file is grown. Now I'm going to do the automatic stop by disconnecting. Oh, I'm sorry, let me query again first. And again, you can see here that it shows that it's running and that it's stoppable. Now I'll disconnect from the network. I'll query the service again, and you can see that it's stopped. If I refresh over here, I can see that it's no longer shows started. It's stopped now. Now I'm going to delete the service. It deleted it successfully. It still shows it here, but when I do a refresh, you can see that the service no longer exists. So that's how to manage your power better, manage your machine better, by setting a service up to start and stop based on a system event 
in less than seven minutes.